if I don't make it back? I've always loved you all. The next one is Metalhead. Metalhead was cool. Metalhead was cool. All black and white, okay. grainy. Yeah, grainy. The machine Mad was smart. Max type. You know, it's almost like it's post-apocalyptic type. Mm -hmm. uh, problems with Metalhead. I have two. Uh -huh. Number one, um, what took so long for the rest of them to show up, the rest of the Metalheads? They didn't show up until the very end when he actually sat overnight watching her under a tree. What took so long for the rest of them to show up? At the end when she after she killed it and it put those little things in her. Uh -huh. And then they, they start showing going back to the warehouse. You see two more coming to the house. Right. You see one show up with a truck crashed. Uh -huh. Then you see some more back at the warehouse where, where they're trying to get that box with the code on it. Uh -huh. And then my second problem, all of that for some fucking teddy bears please tell me those teddy bears were worth more than that um that's really it there's really nothing on that one okay issues i had like i said the metalheads why didn't they why didn't they the show dogs up are the, digital roaches i don't know okay why did they take so long to show up you know? I, my how i felt about that one is they're when you see these things man they're they're a force to reckon with i mean they're not predator or some villain out of something with some superpowers but they're a force to reckon with. I believe they can take care of themselves solo. Right. And I think that's what it is. It's more like, hey, look, there's an adversary or a group of people because you're assuming people are locked down and hiding and they rebel because there's a fear of these things. Um, but they don't say it like a pack. They say, like, really, the fear you can see is that all it takes is one. And right. It could shit up. So I just took it as it's offline and it's way to fix a system is, hey, listen, I know we're offline, but I need you to call for backup. Somebody actually figure out how, how to defeat me, whatever the case is. <coughs> okay. So that's how I took that. All right. Now tell me, is there... Okay, that's where the, the, the Easter egg question came. Uh-huh. The teddy bear that they were after, is that an Easter egg or something? No, I thought I it was going to be... I thought it would have been a, a box of the monkeys mm -hmm. from the bear thing. Right. That would make sense to foreshadow the Black Museum and right. stuff in the past, whatever. This, I... The only time... In, and I, I didn't see this online. The only time I saw that little bear... The girl had in her arms on the archangel. Angel. She had a little teddy bear on her. And it was the exact same teddy bear. Okay. So that's the only time I saw someone cling and grab onto a teddy bear. So they risked their lives. But here's what I was thinking about. Okay. I said, what if you don't call it Metalheads? You call the episode Amazon. If you, I'm dead ass serious. Listen, and I, listen, I could be out all by myself on this one. I'm perfectly fine with it. The aerial scene of how they shot it was all droids. And Amazon right now with the shopping is already using droids. Drones. Drones. My bad. Droids on fucking androids on the phone. But they're using these all over to deliver packages. You have US, um, UPS, and other companies using them. People buying them. There's you know websites that mod and upgrade and spend thousands of dollars on them. And a lot of the views, the aerial views, were using that. The technology of scanning everything was borderline military. You already had dealt with that in the last season with the whole B situation. And then this one, it's like when they were at the warehouse, even before you get the warehouse, remember how the, the roach or the dog or however you want to call it gets inside property? It lets itself in. It has clearance to let themselves in places. Right. You have Amazon right now where you can actually... Because you're set up to Amazon Prime, you can actually set it up where they can open your door a little bit. A machine stops it halfway. Just enough for you to take the boxes to put inside. And it's for like 30 seconds and the door closes back. Okay. Then, when the first part, when they say, listen, they never say, yeah, listen, this could be far stretch and I'm fine with it. I'm they sure never say they're going for supplies. They say they're going for this girl. They made a promise to get something for this girl to get a replacement. And I'm not a parent. You already said the whole parent thing and there's a vibe. I know that if my wife wanted something or the nephew, you're going to go out in the cold and get that replacement teddy bear with that blankie that somebody lost. In the cold, yes. As if it's a life-threatening situation, right? In the desert. As if. As if. No, I get okay. it. I get it. But we're talking about the, the times of ending. We don't know why. I'm not saying this makes sense as far as why they would do it. I'm saying this is what I picked up from the episode. So... You go to that warehouse. The warehouse has cameras on it, like it has hot stuff inside, things that people want and they need. The setup is just like Kohl's or um, Costco, Sam's Club, or if you've ever seen the inside of the warehouses of Amazon, it's structured the same <laughs> still way. The I'm still on Amazon. I okay. can go ahead. All right. Then on top of it, 
they're looking at these numbers on these papers. They were looking for a certain bay, just like if you were ever at one of those outlet stores, you're looking for a certain bay to find a certain electronic or a certain buying good. Okay. As if you're Googling something online and they're doing it old school because there's no computers. Okay. So they find it, they go up, they grab the package, and the package is just a box. They weren't going to get the whole box. I think they just wanted to get a yeah. replacement, whatever. So that's what I took from it. I took from it, it was literally what happens our situation with shopping and that's how i took it oh god i took it with the situation of shopping and i don't think in the four years they even really gave you an episode that had anything to do with shopping that's some serious fucking shopping but but i'm but it's it's they died wrong yes but the whole idea listen <laughs> but are we not doing shit for black friday are we not killing people over jordan are we not like i don't want to be prehistoric but like you're letting people into your home already okay you're flying packages over. Okay. You got self-driving cars in this. You're already testing them right now. They should be out 2020. All right, but they're they're not really shopping. They're stealing. And no. What if you have a system in place and you watch it for this fourth season now? You watch where a system is taken over. Okay. What if the system is taken over of these dogs that were supposed to deliver these packages? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You no. Know. Whatever. Okay. What did you look? You went from an episode where you took nothing off the conversation other than I don't understand, man. These damn dogs. Like, how would they do an episode like that and just give you nothing? That's what I felt like they did. I, I just don't see I feel like we got this intense action horror situation that nobody survived. And then at the end, they show us that these people went out, lost their lives for Teddy Bear. Uh, it's rated as one of the best episodes in the whole series. Um, Who ran it up? Well, the- I mean, I liked it, but I, that was an issue for me. It's not the best. It's not the best episode for me. Crocodile is the best for me, but I mean, I'm a different type of person because I felt hurt from the jump. Like, yeah, he had to die. But anyway, oh, Teddy Bear. I mean, they're not shopping; they're stealing. I don't see the comparison to today's life when people Black Friday go out. They don't have to worry about not coming back alive because there's a machine ready to kill them just for being out in the open i mean don't do it yeah i i mean they do have to worry about crazy people out there but i just don't see it i don't see it out of all the episodes um like i said before i i think because we're so used to episodes having a foreshadowing of technology and this one doesn't. I think this one just alarms you about a situation. And that's why I feel like... I don't know if the situation that you're seeing exists in this... Even, take, okay, look, <laughs> listen, listen. You take, you take it how you want. I'm pretty... Put it in the comments. Put on you, whatever. I'm pretty sure whether you thought of shopping... I'm not going to say necessarily Amazon, but if you thought of shopping with parts of the storyline, then it is what it is. But I took it as... An alarming situation where they're telling everybody, hey, listen, if you don't fix anything, you don't pay attention to what we're showing you, whatever the case is, then this is the situation you're going to lead down to. You're not going to be able to to go get a teddy bear, to go get that little small item, whatever it is that you're trying to get. There's still hope for us to fix stuff. The because world continues on a path that is we're going to be risking our lives for teddy bears. For stupid. Because for, simple, for simple things like for that. For simple things like that because of our connection to technology. Because the only thing that was stopping you from getting a box of teddy bears in a spot where you can literally just climb the ladder and grab it was these um, artificial intelligence. That was the only thing. And like I said, you got bots that are having sex with real skin. And sh- like you got you, you have robots that were just like the other day they were talking about able to do uh, jumping jacks and workouts and produce sweat, recognize facial things, have conversations. So all that I felt like they were saying was. However you want to put it. I don't think the shopping thing necessarily was obviously a thing. But I think the bigger thing is you got everyone out here flying these devices and doing all this other stuff. And it's like, what if you couldn't go against it? And it's adapting. Okay. But they don't give you any insight. Because, again, like this is almost military-grade um, little roaches, dogs, whatever you want to call them.
That's crazy. You have nothing from that episode. Fucking teddy bear. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, they're not. They're not gonna do that to you. I. Didn't. They've never done that. They've never had even on their bad episodes. They're like, mm, okay, I see what they're doing. I might not like it. The ending, da da da. This I, you're like, oh, teddy bears. We don't get teddy bears. I didn't see. I there's certain things I'm willing to risk my life for or take a life for. Teddy bears, not one of them. But y- your kid wants a teddy bear. My kid will not. So you've never gone shopping. <laughs> you've never gone shopping for an object. I have, but I didn't have to parking. go out and worry about actually the, dying to get. True, it. but what I'm saying is, you're <laughs> looking at. Thing. Well, I get what you're saying, but the time has changed in such a way. You went from Black Friday camping out, okay, fighting somebody over the last Teletubby, to legit. You're going to. You made a promise to a little girl, and you're going to go get it. I thought it was a crazy shit ever, but they were all in for it. The other two dudes. Who got their brains blown out? They were if, all in for it. Maybe if I was raised in that setting, that time period, but me, the way I am right now, and then if all of a sudden in a couple of years the world is like that, I still gonna be this loud. She's like, I want to tell you, but well, I'm sorry, it's just not gonna happen. I'm like, I may not ever come back. Then you lost your daddy, and you ain't got a teddy bear. That logic is mean like you just gonna have to get over. It. I'll build you one out of the top, some fucking sweat rags she left or her something. Husband, she left her dog. Like here, yeah, that's Frankie. It like. That's Frankie. Frankie the the rag dog. <laughs> something. So I'm sorry. That's not enough. I I I don't want. I I don't want to ever tell my daughter no. But I I have to sometimes. And that if I have to step out and worry about shit like that, it's gotta be way more important. Like food. Which I understand. That's why I think none of that. Ma- I think, like they said, the director or whatever, it was trying to just get you to have the idea of coming to a time that you'd be like this, not a foreshadowing anymore, like you've seen in the past. Not um, we're going to teach you something differently. It was literally this is where you're heading. This is it. I'm just showing you. This is it.